morning. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing a whole whack load better than me because I've come out at stupid o'clock in the morning to come take photos and the weather has served up that horrible stuff behind me. Not exactly what I was looking for, but you know, any, any day out shooting is better than a day sitting in the office, so can't complain. Anyway, the reason I'm here today is this. Oh, this is the new Canon RF 15 to 35 2.8 lens. Been dying to play with this one. Oh shit, and there comes the rain. Okay, well, it's gonna be an interesting day out shooting. I better stop talking shit and get out and actually shoot some pictures. Um, yeah, we're gonna be vlogging with the camera, with the lens as well. Um, I've got it set up on my EOS R, and let's see what we get. Ah, shit. Okay, um, yeah, um, bye. The rain has gone away, sort of, kind of. We are out shooting anyway. Johan's playing with puddles down there. It's funny how the Johannesburg landscape has changed quite a lot and where the Joburg city center isn't kind of the place where people go to shoot anymore. It's kind of Sandton and Rosebank and Melrose, which are the places we're gonna be hitting today. So far this 1535 is pretty freaking awesome. But I don't think I was expecting anything less from it. Oh, by the way, if my audio sounds a bit shitty at the moment, that's because I left the microphone on and that big 9 volt battery has gone flat. So hopefully I'll find one during the travels today and then get around to actually putting a decent mic on the camera. So the weather is just not playing along. It's cold, it's rainy, it's, the light is crap. Um, there's only so much lipstick you can put on a pig. So I'm going to head home, I'm getting back into bed with a nice cup of coffee and I guess it's Netflix for the rest of the day. Let's try again tomorrow. Okay, so it looks like the weather has finally decided to play along. It's, it's not great, it's a lot better than it was yesterday. We've got a little bit of blue sky at least, so we're going to head out, go shoot some cityscapes and see what this lens is capable of. Just popped in quickly to my local, my favorite coffee shop in the whole of Joburg, or most probably South Africa, Richmond Studio Cafe. Coffee here is phenomenal if you're ever around. I'm gonna drop a link down below, come and check this place out. On the video side, I must say this lens, lens is freaking amazing. It is pin sharp, I mean, tack sharp, unbelievable. But then that is to be expected because Canon's top of the range lenses are always phenomenal. I really can't say much more about it because it is that damn good. Anyway, coffee time and then let's head out and see what we can find around Joburg. So I'm on my way back to Canon now because unfortunately good things never last. I've got to go take the RF 1535 2.8 back to them now because there's a queue of guys waiting for it. I'm already late with it. Um, I really don't want to give it back. And that is 100% the truth. Out of all the RF lenses I've played with so far this year, this is the lens. This is the first lens. If I was going out today, and I was going to trade in or sell my DSLR gear and buy mirrorless gear. This is the first lens I would buy, without a doubt. Not the 70 to 200, not the 2470, not the 85, or any other other lenses that are coming down the road. 1535 F 2.8 RF 100% would be the first lens that I bought. Everything else can be adapted. Your old 70 to 200 adapted. 
all your other old lenses, you can adapt them, no problems, no issues. This makes the 1635 EF 2.8 look silly. It is in a class all of its own. It is tack sharp when it comes to video. It is tack sharp when it comes to stills. And if you're like me, which is a little bit weird, um, and you like to shoot artsy kind of wide shots that aren't landscapes. I love doing kind of street photography where I put something in the foreground on a wide at 15 mil. I love that kind of photography where you challenge your viewer to kind of figure out what the hell is going on in the image. This is the lens that will help you do it if you are going to shoot like that. If you're into landscape photography, great lens. Astrophotography, great lens. It's just a great lens. Anyway, I need to concentrate now on not killing myself before I get to Canon. So I will give you my final thoughts back at the office. Right, so I don't really have a lot more to say about this lens because I think I've made my feelings pretty damn clear. It is the best lens I have played with pretty much ever. It is not cheap. So while I am telling you that you should definitely without a doubt go out and buy one of these lenses, it sits at about $2,300. So if your pocket is fine with that, then go for it, go and get this. Like I said, I would put this ahead of every other RF lens out there, pretty much any other lens out there. This is one of those lenses you have to have in your pocket. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. I hope you enjoyed the B-roll. The Velociraptor loves playing and doing all these little things for me when we do our reviews. I would love to hear your thoughts on the RF 1535. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And let's have a discussion about it because this has to be a two-way street. Not just me preaching what I think. I would love to hear what you guys think as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've been watching and I'm getting quite a lot of views, but the subscribe buzz aren't climbing. So I would really appreciate it if you would uh, ding, bang that little subscribe button and yeah, let's be friends. Anyway, that is it. I am going to go and start shooting the next video. I've got to get this one edited. As you can see, I'm almost done. And, and I will see you. Yes, you in the next video.